Oh, hello roommate. I didn't see you there. My name is Abraham Lincoln, and today, February 12th, is my birthday. I also understand that you're having a Valentine's Day party coming up soon. Uh, that sounds very exciting. Uh, the reason I wanted to talk today is because I have a very important message for you. You see, when I was president, we were going through a terrible civil war where the North States were fighting against the South States. And it was a very, very bloody war and terrible war, and it was fought over slavery. And when the war ended, the North won and the slaves became free. So this was a very important speech of mine that I'd like to share with you today called the Gettysburg Address. I hope you like it. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Now we are engaged in a great civil war, testing whether that nation or any nation so conceived and so dedicated can long endure. We are met on a great battlefield of that war. We have come to dedicate a portion of that field as a final resting place for those who gave their lives that the nation might live. It is altogether fitting and proper that we should do this. But in a larger sense, we cannot dedicate, we cannot consecrate, we cannot hollow this ground. The brave men, living and dead, who struggled here, have consecrated it far above our poor power to add or detract. The world will little note, nor long remember what we say here, but it can never forget what they did here. It is for us the living, rather, to be dedicated here to the unfinished work which they who fought here have thus so far so nobly advanced. It is rather for us to be here dedicated to the great task remaining before us, that from these honored dead we take increased devotion to that cause for which they gave the last full measure of devotion, that we here highly resolve that these dead shall not have died in vain, that this nation, under God, shall have a new birth of freedom, and that government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. Thank you. Happy birthday to me, and happy Valentine's Day.